So in this video, I wanna show you how Facebook ads actually work. If you go into YouTube and search for Facebook ad strategies, there's thousands of different videos. However, if you use that strategy and it doesn't work for you, then it will often leave you kind of stuck, confused, out of pocket, and not really sure where to turn. So in this video then, my objective is to give you a deeper understanding of exactly how Facebook ads work. So if you do ever come across a situation like that, then you'll be more informed and have a better understanding of what to do next. So I've put together this presentation then a very short and brief introduction of exactly the different kind of things that Facebook will look at when you're running ads to determine how successful they're going to be perhaps if you want me to do a further video that kind of builds on this goes into a bit more of these elements in some more depth um, then make sure you hit the like button I tend to kind of go on your feedback and the more likes the video gets and um, then I tend to do more videos on that topic as it says there at the bottom this keynote is downloadable for free in PDF format so if you're on Mac or Windows it doesn't matter um, the format will work for you so just simply head down into the video description below and there will be a link there so to kick the video off then I want to start with the fact that Facebook ads is a bidding auction think of it as like the eBay but we're bidding for impressions impressions being when somebody sees our ad so what that means essentially is that the more people that are bidding for that audience that we want to show our ad to the more competitive it becomes and therefore the more expensive however Facebook doesn't just give that impression to the person who's willing to spend the most amount and um, for the following reasons really you have to kind of take into account that Facebook is a business at the end of the day um, they want to make money and they want to survive so there's kind of like two main things in which you have to consider um, from Facebook's point of view and if you give them those things then in return they'll give you good results so number one is obviously Facebook wants to make money being a business the more money they make the better um, and number two is they want more people to use their platform and the way they get people to use their platform is by only kind of providing the best content that's going to keep people on their platform because the longer people stay on their platform the more time they have to show ads to them the more kind of advertising space there is which ultimately is going to lead to them making more money so you might be thinking then that to succeed with Facebook ads ultimately you need to have the biggest budget however that isn't the case on the right here we have a screenshot which is taken from the facebook.com the link there is at the bottom from the business help manager I call it um, and the way they pretty much explain it is that the winner of the auction is determined on the total value of that ad and that total value then is made up of three different things so number one is the bid so obviously this is how much you or me as an advertiser is willing to pay for that impression um, number two is the estimated action rate so this is basically the, the engagement rate um, how relevant your ad is to um, the audience you're targeting and then number three is the ad quality so this is the actual creative itself the way you display it the way you word things is it high quality is it kind of baity and spammy um, depending on which one it is will affect um, the total value of your ads and therefore the results that you get so what I want to do in this video then is just jump into these three individual elements just dive into them a bit deeper, go through them with a bit more explanation, a bit more information, um, so that next time you do come to the point where you're gonna run some ads or perhaps some ads aren't performing well, then you know exactly where to look and you'll have some good ideas um, of the changes you need to make. So number one then is obviously the bid. Like I mentioned previously, Facebook ads is a bidding platform and to kind of illustrate how it works and or how the price can affect you as an advertiser we have an example here on the left so at the top we obviously have our audience number two in the middle is Facebook here in the center and then obviously we have our advertisers at the bottom if for example there's one advertiser advertising to a particular audience then you're going to have a low CPM a CPM being the cost per 1000 impressions whereas if we compare this to the example on the right we can see there's five times as many advertisers all compared competing for that same audience and what that's going to lead to is a higher price so a higher CPM so the way to kind of translate this into your own business and your own strategies is that the more money essentially that you're willing to spend on Facebook looks more favorable to them now this isn't me saying by any means go out there and start spending 500 pounds a day but what I am saying is that for example if you go into YouTube and search for Facebook strategies the most popular and common one you'll probably see is five dollars per day or five pounds per day so the next time you're designing a strategy or perhaps running some ads perhaps run them for six pounds per day or six dollars per day or perhaps even ten pounds or ten dollars because in Facebook's eyes as they've said themselves the bid in which basically how much you're willing to spend directly affects the total value of your ad so the more you're willing to spend the more variable you look in Facebook's eyes 
and therefore the more favorable your results are going to be. Moving on to the second element, which is action rates, a poor engagement rate on your ads will lead to a lower chance of winning the bid. So here's the kind of two main ways of increasing the engagement rate on your ads. Number one is the quality of your audience. If you go out there and target an audience of say 10 million people, the chances of every single one of those persons being interested in your product is going to be quite low and therefore your engagement rate is gonna be quite low and therefore so is your action rate and therefore that decreases your chance of winning the auction. So if you have been running some ads to some pretty broad audiences of like two, three million people plus, then my advice would be to reduce that audience size, keep hitting that narrow button and increasing the amount of interests um, to the point where you get it down below a million at least, closer to half a million than the better because what that's gonna do is obviously the more interests somebody is linked to within your niche, then obviously the kind of stronger connection they have to that niche, the stronger interest they have in it, and therefore that increases the likelihood of how interested in your products they're gonna be. It increases the chances of them engaging with it, which as we've just spoken about and seen, um, increases your chance of winning the auction and winning the bid, which is obviously our main objective. Point number two then is to advertise a more interesting product. This is kind of one of the biggest faults um, I see beginners making. They don't necessarily choose poor, um, poor products, rubbish products. They just choose products that aren't really suited for for Facebook. So you can go into AliExpress, find products that have thousands and thousands of orders, but if they're not interesting products that perhaps some people haven't seen before, people aren't gonna take notice of them, they're just gonna glaze straight past them, it's gonna lead to a low engagement rate and therefore a decreased chance of winning that bid. And obviously this goes hand in hand with your creative too. If you have a really interesting and cool product but you advertise it in a really boring way that doesn't capture people's attention, then you're not gonna get the eyes on, you're not gonna get the engagement engagement and it's going to reduce your action rate so just keep those two things in mind moving on to the third and final aspect then is the ad quality so a few kind of practices to make sure that you avoid and this will improve the quality of your ad and therefore increase your chances of winning the bid start from left to right then number one is we have text overlay and images you might have seen this before if, um, as you go to hit that publish button there'll be like an error message um, warning you about the amount of overlay text, which obviously decreases the quality of your ad, which in Facebook ads eyes is a bad thing. Um, so just make sure you avoid that as much as possible. The second thing to avoid is engagement bait. When I first started Facebook ads four years ago now, um, I used to do this all the time, to be honest. I used to say tag a friend that needs this. However, nowadays Facebook don't want people to be using that as a common practice. So it hinders your results, it goes against you. So if you're asking somebody to comment, somebody to tag, somebody to like, um, then ultimately it's just gonna harm your chances of success. And then the third and final one, there's loads more of these by the way. However, like I said in this video, I just want it to be kind of like a brief introduction to test the waters, see if you guys are interested in this as a subject. And if you are, just comment below, let me know one way or the other, and then I can go a bit more um, deeper and delve with a bit more information into these topics. So the third one is exaggerated headlines. We have two ads here advertising exactly the same thing. However, the one on the top right, just in case you can't see it, if you're watching on a mobile device, it says seven mind blown uses of carrots with mind blown being in capitals. So it's quite emphasized, it's quite over exaggerated. Whereas the second one is a bit more sophisticated, um, just says seven uses of carrots that will have you rethinking your diet. You must check these out. So even though there is kind of like a call to action in the second one, it's more preferred because there isn't just over hyped. Facebook obviously don't want to be that kind of platform. They want it to be just a bit more sophisticated, a bit more kind of informative and relevant and just less hype and less clickbait and less kind of spammy looking posts. They want it to be somebody, somewhere where people can come on to, spend a lot of time, read a few different articles, watch a few different videos, engage with their friends, etc. Not just it be full of these engagement and spammy posts um, that overhype everything. So they are the three main things then that Facebook consider next time you're running Facebook ads. If you're still watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If I taught you anything new, please do make sure you let me know. Comment it down below, hit that like button. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys, any comments or questions. I read every single comment by the way. So if there is something you wanna ask me, make sure you just post it down below. Um, I will get back to you. And just one final thing then, thank you very much for watching. If you are currently looking for a course or some sort of program that comes with somebody's full guidance and support, please do check out my Ecom Academy. Um, on screen now is just kind of like the four main things you'll get full access to as soon as you join. Um, but for more information, head to the video description below and there will be a link there taking to the page with all the information and testimonials, etc. Apart from that, thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one.